Good morning. Carlo, I'm here with you. Wake up, wow. Number 14, and tonight's topic is uh, connected power. There's so much going on in our world right now um, that is stirring up fear. We read stories in the newspaper, see things on TV about money, about uh, the monetary system, about wars with other countries, about all the insane things that our country's doing, uh, its government, and people get afraid. Now, if there's no sense, when you see these things on TV, when you're talking about them with your friends, if there's no sense that you have an interconnected power that is allowing you to rise above these situations, and that there will indeed be a brighter tomorrow in which we can live in harmony, if you don't have that, then you're basically playing the role of a martyr without a cause. That's what I'd ask you to consider. If you ask the mind to get that you have and you are this infinite loving power, the mind doesn't want to get it because the mind sees that that kind of power means it dies. So this strange egoic mind that we can never fully understand um, would see our claiming of power, true loving power, as its death. So my suggestion for your consideration is to let go of, of any need to get with the mind um, the loving power that you are, but to know in your heart, to identify with the, your heart, that you're pure and infinite loving spirit that's connected to everything. If you go on asking your mind to adopt this thing called infinite loving power, it's kind of like going to the car dealership uh, and uh, asking the car dealer to give you and all your friends a brand new car. Well, the car dealer's going to go out of business. Why do you want to do that? Well, the same thing with the ego. When you ask the ego to, uh, to accept your, you as a loving being and that you have great, infinite, loving power that's to your essence, that means that, you know, if the ego would, were to accept that, the ego would be accepting his death, and it doesn't do that. So what's your, uh, what's your response? What's your most powerful response? is to withdraw all uh, attention and all support to that which is the egoic. It's not done by resistance. Resistance, resistance is futility. Resistance is only halfway up from total, total uh, distraction. And total distraction is where a lot of people have been for a lot of years. We've been avoiding uh, facing what's in front of us. Well, now we're facing it. We're seeing more protests in the streets. We're seeing more things come up that amp up fear. And we're seeing all the different things happening in our world. And now, now the call is uh, to recognize the most powerful response to it. And that response has nothing to do, nothing to do with any resistance. And this is one of the great secrets. No resistance. Simply withdraw attention and support from that which is sucking your energy. And when you do that, you're in your power. So my request to you is to consider identifying with the will and the wisdom of your own heart. Knowing, trusting, that you have within you and that you are infinite loving power. Connected to everyone and everything else in a way the mind will never understand. Yet as you identify with the heart, as you live your life based upon the will and the wisdom of the heart, seeing the heart as your master, letting the mind be your slave, your life unfolds in greater and greater beauty. And that's what I'd ask you to consider.